Are you allowed to go upstairs to see it? It's just for official. Yes, it's full of offices season. People are working, it's not allowed to go. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. But I can give you a little bit of history about our bands. Okay, okay that's really helpful. Yeah, yes. thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hello guys, um, I'm just in Madeira. Um, I'm in the capital city. It's called um, Funchal. I'm just here exploring the town centre. Um, I'm going to take you around to show you what you can do when you're in Madeira. Um, there's a lot of things here. There's, um, there's a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of bars. And also it does have um, a lot of beaches as well, which is really good. Um, so let me take you around. So this is how it looks on a sunny day in Madeira. Um, the weather is quite hot today. Um, it's about 22 degrees today. So it's, um, it's nice and sunny. So what can you do in Phun Chao? So there's a lot of things you can do in Phun Chao. So it depends on what you're into anyway. So if you're into um, if you're into things like drinking, then yes, um, it does have a lot of good bars that you can go to. And the price is reasonable. Um, it's not that expensive, which is a good which is a good thing anyway. That's a plus. Um, also, for people that like um, to eat good food, they've got good food here as well. They've got a lot of seafood, so um, it's a good place for for food as well. Um, I'll show you some restaurants um, in a second. Um, in terms of how to get to the town centre, so um, the public transport in Madeira is quite good. Um, they've got a very very good public transport system. So they've got they've got a lot of taxis as well. So if you want to get a cab, you can. Um, but they have a very very good public transport system so you can actually catch a bus next to your hotel there's a lot of bus stops around so you can catch a bus from your hotel um, to the sun sorry to the town center I mean so it's only like one euro 60 or so one way um, you could also buy a whole day ticket which takes you everywhere within Phun Chao it's only like five euros I think so that's not too bad so it's like um, a five euro one day pass kind of thing basically um, in terms of driving around I would say if you're not an experienced driver don't drive in Phun Chao and the reason why I'm saying that is um, they do have a lot of hills and they're quite steep. So if you're not a good driver, I don't advise you to drive. So this is how their taxis look like in Madeira. So it's literally like a yellow taxi. So there's a taxi station here. So all you do is, um, you look at where you're going to on here then you just speak to the taxi driver I suppose so um, there's a lot of places you can go to actually so on here it's got things like or it's got places like Santana I've been to Santana before um, Santana is a nice place to go to but if you are going to go there I suggest you only go there for one day um, and that's it I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that you stay there for a long time then open is better to film oh yeah no it's okay I've um oh yeah oh ah. thank you okay yeah yeah thank you thank you yeah um so Santana is a good place to go to I've been there before um also Porto Moniz is also a very popular destination as well so if you want to come to Fong Chao and you want to see all these main tourist 
areas all you have to do is come to the central to the central area or to the um to the to the center actually so it's called um Poon Charles center and um come to the taxi rank around this area then obviously choose the taxi you want and um they'll take you there thank you so yeah so and the people here are quite nice anyway so um as i was saying there's a lot you can do in madeira um so it's got a museum as well it's got the marina i'll take you to the marina later today So let's go. So that building, I think, is a church. It looks like a church or a museum, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm not looking to go inside, so I'm just going to move on. Um, in terms of where to um, to eat. Like I said, there's a lot of places to eat here in the town centre area. Um, so you've got... So this is... This is a road that is quite popular in the area. It's called Rua Dao Tavira. Don't put me on the spending anyway. But um, it is a good spot to have um, coffee or a little snack, basically. So there's something called bolo, it's quite popular here, so it's called bolo do taco. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it well. But bolo is quite cheap normally, so you can get a bolo for around €2.50, which is not too bad actually. So it's a very popular country. So, if you ever come to Phung Chao and you just want to have a quick lunch, then yeah, Bolo is a good one. It's just a quick, a quick snack to go. Okay, let's keep moving. So they've got little side streets where they where they have food or where they sell food. Sorry. So there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of options anyway. So. You're not going to run out of options. Also, if you want to do your shopping as well, like shopping for clothes and that, shopping for clothes and that then um, there's a lot of shops around that you can go to. So Santander is a very popular bank here. I've seen like 10 Santanders already. That's to show you how popular it is. Okay, so let's see what that building is. We've got a lot of fancy buildings around Phun Chao. Also, you can do um, a hop on hop off in Phun Chao as well. It's not that expensive anyway, so this is one as well. This is um, the yellow bus. So it's a hop on hop off bus. Um, and you can buy two tickets so you can buy a 24 hour ticket or you can buy a 48 hour ticket i think the last time i jumped on it um i think i paid for the um i think i paid for the for the 48 i'm not sure but it's not that expensive i can't actually remember the price but it's not that expensive okay i'm just gonna see what that building is
So I think that's their city hall. So that's the city hall. The Punchal City Hall. So I suppose this is where all the laws are made in Funchal. I'm not sure if you're allowed to go in, but I would have a go. Um, let's see. I love being nosy. So you have to always wear your face mask inside every time. So this is the um, city hall area. So I don't think we're allowed to go upstairs. I think it's just for um hi. Are you allowed to go upstairs to see? It's so, just for officials. Yes, it's full of offices and people are working, it's not allowed to go. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. But I can give you a little bit of history about our parents. Okay, okay that's really helpful. Yeah, yes. thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank cheers. You. Yeah, so the people here are really nice. Um, so I'm not allowed to go all the way up there um, because it's only city, um, Funchal city, or Funchal town hall officials. That's the word. Um, but yeah, she's giving me like a little leaflet to tell me about the town hall. Um, so I would have a read later. Okay, so. Like I said, there's, um, there's quite a lot to do here. Um, if you want to proper explore Fun Chao, I would recommend you wake up early in the morning and look around. Um, because it's much more better that way, you can actually see more. Um, also, sometimes when you come out, come out quite late, you might miss out because some places close early. So my recommendation is you come out early so you can actually see more I'm going to take you to um, the market as well so they've got like a very popular market um, I think it's called Fun Chow Fun Chow Farmers Market I'm not too sure I'm just I'm just guessing here but I think that's what it's called so I'll take you there for you to kind of see what they have there So, some of you might be thinking, um, what time of the year is this? Is this like summertime? So, in Madeira, it's usually very hot from, it's quite warm from May all the way to, let's say, September. But from October, it starts getting slightly chilly. So, but it's still mild, like it's not like chilly, chilly. I think it gets really cold around around December, January but at the moment um, 
it's summertime or let's say spring so actually summer it is summertime so it's quite warm okay so this is the real street so control yeah so i know a lot of vloggers tend to show you like the beach and places like that in Fung Chao but this is the real streets of Fung Chao and you see how busy it is yeah so Fung Chao is known for um, selling a lot of bananas and fruits um, because the weather is really good so you could actually see a lot of fruit sellers around and they've got very very odd fruits as well they've got um, We've got fruits that you can't see in other countries due to the weather, it's very tropical. Um, so Fun Chao or Madeira is based off the coast of West Africa, although it's not classed as Africa, it's, it's classed as Europe obviously, but um, it is off the coast of West Africa. So, this is the real streets of Madeira. So it's just like any like European country anyway, so it's quite similar. So you get similar things everywhere else. So I've been to this particular place before, the Abolo is really good. So that's what's called a bolo. So it's just literally like bread and sausage. So the bolo here is like three meals, but not too bad actually. I think it depends on what you want in your, in your bolo. Can I ask you a question? So what's a bolo? Yeah, I know, but is it like a sandwich? What, what do you call it in English? Is it, is it like a sandwich? You don't know? Yeah, so he doesn't know. But I think, I think Ebola is literally like a sandwich anyway. So um, I think what they do is, is literally bread. And what's that? Is that pork? Pork? What, what's that? Okay. So like sausage, yeah? So you put sausage inside. Yeah, what do you put inside the bread? No, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, I was just asking what i was just asking what a bolo is so is a bolo literally like a sandwich that you put stuff inside so you put like sausage and um okay so you just put things inside the bread basically yes. yeah 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 yeah. so yes. it's like a sandwich basically yes. yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. thanks yeah so a bolo is literally <laughs> so a bolo is literally a sandwich that that's all it is um i suppose it's the portuguese sandwich i would say so what, what you'd realize in, um, in Madeira is a lot of people speak English, so that's good. But some people don't speak English. So you get situations whereby somebody else might have to um, kind of interpret what you're trying to say, um, which is okay anyway. They're quite helpful anyway, so, so that's a good thing. So, Let's keep going. It's quite busy today. It's a Tuesday. Sometimes I think I did not work in like, why is everyone here? But I think there's a lot of tourists around. So most people here are probably tourists from various countries. Um, you'd, you'd notice a lot of, um, a lot of Europeans around and much more British people. A lot of British. So, this is what you get. I'll take you to the shopping centre later. They've got like a little shopping centre around, so I'll take you there later. So you see how busy it is, yeah? It's mad busy. Crazy busy. So, if you want a Portuguese sandwich, come quite early and you get a good one because it, it goes quickly anyway. So last time I came here, 
um, the way a lot of people buy in the bolo. So it's, it's, it's a very popular sandwich in um, in Portugal. <laughs> or in Madeira, just to be very clear. Okay, so we're still on the streets of Punchal. Still quite busy. Well, it's crazy, isn't it? The weather is lovely as well. So I'm just um, I'm just looking around. So in terms of getting money out anyway, so they've got various ATMs, but just be very careful though, because some overcharge you, so you need to be very careful. Um, so just be wary when you're withdrawing money. Most places accept um, card payments anyway, so that's okay. So I tend to pay by card, although there are certain places that don't take card. And obviously if you're going to jump on the bus as well, you need to pay by cash. So it was meant to rain today, but for some reason it's not raining anymore. So it's going to be hot all day. So that's a good thing for me anyway, because um, I was dreading coming out today. I was thinking it's going to be really, really, really tough to record um, due to the weather. But the weather is actually okay, so that's good. So this is your this is your lovely lovely from child on a Tuesday afternoon.